Okay, so last night I had to move this turnout to make these two tracks longer for the siding. This outer track was only about a foot and a half long and was almost useless for this yard. The other one only held about three cars. So now you can see we got plenty of room to store cars at these two tracks here at Schultz Yard in Ellison. So today I figured uh, I got to come back and do the ballast on the track anyway. So I figured why not show an easy way to ballast? You know, at least my technique. There's, I know there's all kinds of fancy ballasting machines. I like the old fashioned spoon. Just come in and spread it out, sprinkle it out along the ties. Try and get it as neat as you can on both sides. And I'm gonna come back. I was able to hijack one of my wife's old makeup brushes. It's a nice soft brush. I recommend you don't take a new brush from your wife or girlfriend. Take an old one that she is done with. So let's start with that and just come back and brush the ballast in between the ties. And as you're doing this, you can see that's the brush I use. In fact, it's even kind of leaving some dust on the ties, which looks pretty good. It makes them look a little bit more worn. And it's actually at the same time, it's pushing the ballast down along the outside edges of the ties too. So a couple of spots, I need to add a little bit more. Now when I get down to the turnout, you have to be real careful when you get into the points. We'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and get this section done. This will only take a minute. those fancy ballast machines I've seen people use them I think they use too much ballast and spread it too wide along the sides of the track you know of course this is just a uh, yard siding so it probably would not be all that well maintained like a main line Just enough to do the job. That's all they're going to use here, it seems to me. You know, a lot of people don't like the ballast. I actually find it kind of relaxing. It's kind of mindless once you get the hang of it. You get the right ballast, the right tools, get everything together. And goes pretty quickly as you can see right here we're doing about probably a total of about four feet this piece I'm working on now is about four or five inches short of one full piece of flex track and by the way this is uh, Walter Shinohara code 83 that we use here at our club get close down here all right, let's go ahead and spread the rest of this. Well, we added some here. So simple to do. Ballasting just makes your track look so good. Just remember, not only the locomotives and cars we use, track is a model too. So you want that to look just as good as the rest. Got a little too much right there, so you can just kind of brush it down. And just fill it in between the ties. You don't want it on top of the ties. You want it just down in between. It looks like we need a little bit more right there. Just 
real simple, take your time, and use the brush to kind of manicure the sides. Now, if you're doing this up on cork, which I'm not today, I like to run a bead of full strength glue along the angled edge of the cork first. You run that bead of glue, spread it out with either your finger or an old brush, and then lay your ballast on the outsides like that first. It kind of gives the, uh, the inner layers something to grab onto so you're not ballasting an inch outside of the cork roadbed. So that's looking pretty good. Spread that out to blend in. Now when I glue this down, it'll kind of, it'll help blend in with the surrounding scenery. Of course, railroads are already always changing their tracks and modifying things. So even though this ballast may not match exactly, we'll get a little bit more. When you go look at the railroad yard, you'll see variations in colors of ballast. Now, here's the fun part to get down to the turnout. Very careful around the moving parts of the point. In fact, I'm going to stay away from that throw bar as much as I can. Just, get just enough to fill it, to cover up the bench work below on the movable parts of the turnout. This will get everywhere if you're not careful and could prevent your turnout from working properly. So let's see what we have there. Let's get this. I always brush away from where the points touch. Get those guardrails nice and clear. And if you miss something in the guardrails, you can always come back afterwards and pick it out with an X-Acto blade or some little picking tool or something like that. And you see down inside there, now typically when I do this, so look at the turnout, it still works just fine. When I come back and glue this, I will not glue this section during the move of the movable parts of the turnout. So now that we've got this all ballasted, Here's the almost easier part. Well, looks like I need a little bit more right there. Is gluing it down. You can use wet water to spray it down, which is just some water mixed with a little bit of liquid detergent, a couple of drops, you know, or rubbing alcohol. I've used both. They both work fine. Today we're going to use the 70% isopropyl alcohol and a little pipette. And we're just going to dribble it down the middle. And you can see how it wicks down in there really good. The wet water works good too, but I've come to discover I think I like the alcohol better, especially when I'm working around a turnout. And we'll come back down to the point section again in just a moment. And just work our way back around the outside. And you can see how the alcohol soaks in real good. It gets right down in all that ballast. And when I come back to glue it, I don't use the fancy scenic cement. I just use regular white glue. It's in right now it's in an Elmer's bottle. It's not Elmer's glue. I bought the cheap white glue from Hobby Lobby by the gallon. I think it's like about twelve or thirteen dollars. And mix that half and half with some water couple of drops of liquid soap and that's what we use to glue down the ballast here at least that's what I like to use 
and it seems to work really good. You want to try and get kind of close to where you're working when you're dripping the alcohol. When if you're spraying, use a bottle that sprays a fine mist. Because you want to try not to displace all the nice ballast that you just put in there and manicured with that makeup brush. Getting there, like I said, just take your time. Don't try to hurry. By the way, before I did this, I did come in here and just kind of laid some masking tape around these two new tracks and dusted them down with a little bit of, I think it was Rust-Oleum or Krylon, just some dark brown earth paint paint the ties in the sides of the rails so they blend in with the rest of the rail and track in this area. And everywhere this alcohol is, that glue will soak right into it. You're probably gonna be, think I'm crazy when I come back with the glue because I really soak it down with the glue. It's going to look like it snowed on here, but the end result will be good looking ballast that's glued down and not going to come up unless you come back and soak it with a good fine mist of wet water, which can be done. That's what I had to do last night to pull up this turnout and the associated tracks that were next to the turnout. Okay, now again, back to the turnout itself. Be real careful. The outside, you can pretty much do like normal. Careful here by the throw. Soak down that outside. Just a drop in each one of these spots between the ties, and that'll do it. Okay, now, I always put my cap back on the bottle so I don't knock it over. Now, this is pre-mixed, half glue, half water, with some liquid soap. We'll go ahead and do the turnout part first. No, maybe not, because it's kind of full. Right, I'm just going to start right down here and just right down between the rails. You can see how it's soaking down in there. Come back to the turnout after my bottle's not completely full. And right back along the outside. This usually takes about 24 hours to dry. See how the glue is soaking right down in there. Get the alcohol cutting that surface tension. This turnout does have a frog juicer on it, by the way, which was another thing that was really easy to do. All the turnouts back here have frog juicers on them. If they're electric, they're connected to the uh, tortoise by Circuitron switch machines. That has made a world of difference in our operations back here. So we don't have locomotives stalling all over the place. They're in operations every time they cross a frog. on the outside a little bit. All right, now, 
back to the turnout. Right around on the outside, you can see it'll soak in a little bit. Here, here, just a dab. And that glue will soak in on the outside. Again, not going to glue down the inside between the movable points. Some of that will seep in there and help hold it down. When we clean the layout, if we vacuum and it comes up, we can always come back and add a little bit more if we need to. And that is pretty much it. Give that about 24 hours to dry. And we've got one moved turnout with more storage and all done and re-scenic. All right, hope you like this. Thanks for watching.